Hey, welcome back to State of Woods Co. Today, I'm super excited about a new campaign that we're starting and you guys are completely in charge of this entire project. I have no idea what this project's gonna look like or how it's gonna turn out. It's all because of you. So, if you haven't looked at our website, there is a link in our website and we'll leave it down in the description below. You have the ability to go to our website, vote every month on a wood turning project of any kind, really. So, my very first turning bowl I did was a hybrid bowl with this burl and total boat epoxy now this was the most fun i've had on the lathe in a very long time and i didn't expect it but it was also my very first bowl and this thing came out looking so sweet so there's a link right here to the video of how i made this but this is the type of project that i want you guys to help me with i'm going to give you several options to vote on the actual project that we're going to turn the materials that we're going to use the style that it comes out as, the colors that we add to it, and if we do epoxy pours and things like that, and the finish. It's all up to you guys. I, I don't have any control. All I do is move the lathe tool, adjust the lathe. You guys are in full control of this project, which I think is pretty dang awesome. I'm super excited about it. So you guys got to choose between a segmented bowl and a mortar and pestle, and you chose the latter, which is freaking awesome to me. I think it's really cool. But this is gonna be a fun project because you're gonna actually make the bowl of the mortar and then the pestle, right? I think that's what it is. Or is it backwards? Pestle, mortar. It's been around since the Stone Age and they've used it to crush up um, medicine, herbs, spices, things like that. All right, so if you did what I told you just a minute ago and went and watched that bowl video of this build, you would know that this burl that I stole off my land years ago is where this bowl came from. It came from right about in there, somewhere. It was hidden, I had to find it. That's what we're gonna build this project out of. This burl is red oak burl, and it looks pretty gnarly. I'll bring you up close. Cameraman, can you get him in a little closer? So, this burl is very gorgeous. It already has a bunch of holes and uh, voids in it, but the grain in this stuff just looks unbelievable. So, what we're gonna do find out exactly where I want this bowl to come out of this, um, and then we're gonna cut it up and stabilize it. This is gonna be a fun one. Let's go do it. Oh, I hope this thing doesn't blow up in my face. All these holes, I could do it. I think I'm gonna chop it straight down where the heart of the tree used to be, and I'm just gonna cut out this whole side for the most mass that I can get, and then we'll stabilize it, and then We'll have enough to work with, I hope. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's sick looking. Can you see it? Can you see it inside here? Look at that. It's right in there. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Yeah, a little bit better now? It's gonna be pretty cool, huh? I went ahead and cut one more side off so that I had more of a square stock to put on the lathe so it'll turn a whole lot faster. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stabilize these bad boys. Now, we are gonna use cactus juice. And no, it's not, I don't think any cactuses were harmed in the creation of this product, but who knows, it does come from Texas. There's a link for this on our Amazon affiliate. It's in the description below. Made in the USA, it's good stuff. Very healthy. I wouldn't put it on salads, but you can do what you want to with it. So, all we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the wood down in the pot. So this is a vacuum chamber. So what it's gonna do, uh-oh, if these fit. Hey! Well, that will have to do. It's like a big puzzle piece. Really, all you have to do is pour the cactus juice in here, hook up a vacuum to it, put the lid on it, and suck all the air out. But what that's gonna do is that cactus juice is gonna suck into that wood, fill all those pores, and then after it's calmed down and stopped bubbling, we'll take it out, we'll put it in a, a little oven, and we'll bake it for like two hours. All right, here we go. All we gotta do is get some glasses on, cause you know, splatter's a thing. All right, we're just gonna pour this bad boy in here. I always just weigh it down with heavy pieces of metal. I have not found that the metal hurts it at all, so I'm just gonna do that. It's 
Excuse me. So, it's all done. Let all the air back out. Let's get rid of this. So now, with a little TV magic, it's finished. No, don't be dumb. But first, before we put it in here, we're gonna wrap it in aluminum foil. That's gonna keep all of that epoxy and resin down inside that wood so that it'll hold it while it bakes. We raided the kitchen. We're gonna seal this. Do a little one first. Look at that. It's all filled. Look at the grain on that. It just looks awesome, doesn't it? So let's see if we can do this one. Just wrap it up. While you guys are watching me do this, hit that subscribe button at the bottom. As you know, it helps out these channels that are trying to make it, that are new to the new to the school, right? So, if you don't mind. You know what? I have one fear about all this whole thing. I don't know if this is gonna fit in the oven. Woo, just barely, just barely, just barely. Pizza, toast, warm bowl. I want that. Do it for 60 minutes at 200 degrees. We'll set it for another 60 minutes after that dings. We'll be good to go. All right, let's get it out of here. See what it's all about. Woo! Well, that was, that was dumb. It's just messing. It's just like 200 degrees. It's not hot. Woohoo! And we made wood. Feels really stable. Hey, I'm shooting a video here. This is what I deal with sometimes. Guys. Oh, and the dog's out there too. The other dogs are barking. What are y'all doing? Let's see what the second one looks like. Should basically look like the same thing. A loaf of wood. See, I can bake. My mom always said I couldn't cook. I've had girls tell me I couldn't cook. Oh, I can cook. I can cook good when I want to. I'm just lazy. It looks like caramelized cheese at the bottom where all that resin just ran out. If we hadn't had it in the aluminum foil, it, it would have run all over this toaster. It's a little crispy. Now it's, it's hard to explain, but it's a lot heavier now because of all that resin and epoxy that I got in there. It is definitely more stout. And I mean, you're gonna think this is stupid, it definitely feels more stable. Let's go mount it on the lathe and we'll turn the bottom and then turn around and, well, let's just show it. She's a wobbler. Let's hope this doesn't blow up. Let me just interject and say that my tailstock is not strong enough to do a plunge with the Forstner bit, so I had to pull out the drill and do it the old-fashioned way, and it is not ideal. That right there is how you don't do it, but it's the only option that I had right now that worked. So you just gotta make do, man. Look at that. That is a cool mortar right there. 
That's awesome. So now you guys are going to vote on the color epoxy to put in this and fill all these voids. So now what I've got to do is go put it back on the website, let everybody vote, and uh, we'll go from there. Ah. All right, it's another day, and now we're on to the next step in this build. I want to be able to fill this with something so that when I pour it with epoxy, it doesn't fill all that up and we just waste all that epoxy after we've already turned this. So let's fill the void with something on the inside and we'll wrap it up with some tape and then we'll be able to pour this thing and it should, it should fill the void and then we can just break it out and we shouldn't have to waste so much epoxy. All right, so let's go fill this bag with something easy. All right, that's gonna work. So now some epoxy can get around the edges to sort of fill some of these bigger voids that are in there, but yet it's not gonna have to fill up all of this and waste all that epoxy. So we may just have to break this apart. Afterwards, there may be a little cap of epoxy all the way over, but we just hit it with a hammer, pull this out, and that's the plan. Hopefully that's what works, because if not, we're gonna have a bowl full of rocks that we can never turn back out, because I'm not putting my tools on some rocks. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the pestle part of the project, which is actually the, it's the hand tool utensil part of this project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a form that I used a while back. This was actually used on the epoxy fly fishing box video. All I'm gonna do is place it down in here. I've got a piece of scrap wood that I'm just gonna drop down in here. It fits perfectly. I'm gonna Tyvek tape it all together. I'm gonna silicone it in. I won't even screw it in. I'll just silicone it in so that I can remove it later. And we'll pour this and then we'll have it the same color as what's in here. And uh, then we'll be able to turn our handle. All right, it's a new day and the votes are in for the color. Let's check it out and see what we got. All right, after we tallied it all, Aquamarine came in first with 12. So that's what we're gonna roll with. It would have looked cool with black, I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is. Let's go for it. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put that rock form into the bowl, push it down there tight, and then set it down in there. We'll clamp that down in just a second. And now, let's do the pour. <laughs> this little metal form here. Push it down as tight as it'll go. Get in there, and then let's just clamp this thing. All right, we've let 24 hours pass. The epoxy is good and cured. Let's open this baby up and see what we got. Oh, you can already tell right there, that rock in the bottom with the Tyvek tape, it didn't get any epoxy on the bottom of it, so that's perfect. The way we held it down with the clamps, that worked perfect. But let's see if there's a hole in the bag and now there's rocks and epoxy in the bottom. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Silicone off there. Look at that. Now we got two good blanks that we can use on the lathe. All right, I really want to see how this fared on the inside. So let's get a mallet and open this up. I'm just gonna use a little ball ping hammer, but this epoxy's probably gonna go flying. Let's get some glasses. Safety first, always. All right, let's see what happens here.
could always just cut the bag and then start pouring all those rocks out, but it'd be really cool to just take it all out as one piece. We'll see if it'll work. Should just come out. Yes, yes, yes. That's pretty dope. Look at that. The void got filled, had one hole that was in there. So we can just clean this up, eat it away, and oh, that's gonna be sweet. All right, this is about to get dirty. So these little air holes, pockets of no epoxy, that's really where I should have had a pressure pot to sort of get rid of all of those air bubbles in there. So we'll just have to fill those. All right, so we roughed out the pestle part of the project. So we're gonna round this off, make it more of a uh, smashing tool. What I really should have done is I really should have just poured small little bits of epoxy. I wasted a ton of epoxy by pouring this whole thing into that form, but you live and you learn and you work with what you got. All I have is um, a vacuum chamber. I don't have a pressure pot yet, but that's on my list of things to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and fill in all these little voids. A lot of this is just gonna sand right out when we put it back on the lathe, but I wanna get as much color in this project as I can. You can always go behind and fill some of these cracks with CA glue. CA glue allows you to fill in a lot of these cracks and you'll never know it. But these big voids, I want to hit with the colored epoxy so that it matches really well. <laughs> things awesome but you guys chose bumble shoots as the finish of choice this is their all-in-one product and it is amazing so yeah let's put the two together get some finish on this baby Y'all, I could not have done this without you guys. This thing turned out so awesome. I am in love with this thing, but you have to tell me what I'm gonna do with this project. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, should I give it away? Should I put it in the kitchen and use it? Should I give it to you guys? What should I do? Maybe a giveaway on IG, who knows? 
If you don't like the way this project turned out, I can't help you about it now, but next month you guys get to choose every little aspect of the project. I have no idea what it's gonna be. I'll give you some options and you guys are gonna shoot from there. So until next time, I'll see you later.